All right, viewers, welcome to the AO Gaming Channel. This is Red Eye speaking, and today I'm playing uh, Super Dragonfly Chronicles. Originally, this game, uh, before this uh, version on the Switch, was known just as Dragonfly Chronicles, and was released uh, back, I believe, in 2018 on the PC. And that version, from what I can tell, seems a little different than this one overall. So. Anyway, one of the reasons I decided to play this game is because I noticed that nobody else uh, has really bothered with it as far as just doing uh, much for gameplays of the other levels other than the first one uh, or even doing a walkthrough. So I figured I'd take a shot at it, maybe help uh, some of the players out there that might have bought the game that are struggling. It is a little bit of a hard game, but it's not impossible. The people that have reviewed the game are kind of being unfair about the difficulty, in my opinion. But anyway. So in each level here, there's uh, notes to collect. There's some collectibles in the game. Notes being one of them. Then there's uh, concept art. Uh, there's a total of eight episodes in this game, but the levels are pretty lengthy. Takes a little time to get through it. And then there's uh, biographies. So today I'm going to be covering episode one and collecting one of each of those. And then I'm also going to be trying to get the first six achievements in the game. So of course, finding the first note, unlocking the first concept, and the first biography, beating the first boss, and then there's uh, Play Like a Master, where you have to try to get through the last part of, the, of a level. You can do it in just about any level, but it, to me it's easier to do it in the first one without taking any damage. So that's how you get that award or trophy. And then this one, you can um, get this by not using any of your abilities towards the end of a level. So... That's what I'm going to try to do today, so I'm going to turn the volume back up. I'll explain the controls briefly before I um, get going into the level. Obviously, the dialogue needs a little work in this game. Hopefully, if another game's made, uh, that uh, correction can be implemented in the second game, maybe, in the future. Alright, so, brief little spiel here about the uh, controls. So, pressing the B button, if you're playing on the Switch Pro controller here, uh, is your jump. Y button is your standard attack. Um, and then if you scroll through the abilities, which is the bar on the right with the L, you can scroll by using the L or R button, or the ZL or ZR button, and then push the X button. Once you have decided, obviously, which ability you want to use, then you can use that ability. That's also an alternate attack, but it does consume some energy. All right, so here we go. Also for movement, uh, you can use the control stick or the D-pad. 
personally prefer the D-pad myself. There's also a knockback in this game. There we go. That's a health icon there. Um, basically, depending on which direction you're facing, you'll uh, get knocked around. So, in that way. Just as an example. So always keep that in mind if you're on a tight platform. Yeah, better watch my damage. Or my health, I mean. Yeah, Mark can also uh, crawl on the walls here, press the B button to jump, from wall to wall, or if you're going downwards, press down and B to go diagonally. You can just drop down. It's a weird mechanic, kind of, but that's how it is. There's also power-ups that'll give Mark some other attacks. Gonna be approaching the first one soon. Gives him a little more reach. Standard attack with the uh, Y button. And that icon right there, it says new trophy unlocked, that was the biography. It's actually pretty good. It comes in handy in the boss fights. It does quite a bit of damage if you can uh, land it. stupid. <laughs> okay. Need to regroup here. Alright, kind of hit this. 
Red that I found there that I just picked up is another ability actually from Mark. Gives some uh, super speed. You could, uh, can activate that by pushing the X button. That's of course if you don't have the abilities on. Otherwise you won't uh, use it. hit by everything. Okay, I'm gonna go down here. Need some health and that item there. Got my longer reach back. here without taking any damage or using abilities. I want those trophies. And I also have a boss fight to deal with too. second because there's more of those things crawling on the ground down there. Let's try it. Yep, there they go.
Yeah, I hate the jump ability in this game. Okay, there we go. Oh, hands are a little sweaty. <laughs> Some nerves. Especially this part. Gotta be careful. Oh wow, I actually got a life. Saw that little icon there, that's what that was. Getting those is pretty rare. Yeah, there's a few health icons and there are canisters that might contain something. Like, uh, ability pickup. Oh, nice. Freaking spider early. It's a little hard to pull a triple on an attack off like that in the air. God, those things are like a heart. <laughs> Gotta destroy those though, just to uh, access the next room. Check just really quick to make sure those are the last enemies. They're good. There's still a few more, but not many left. <laughs> then I'll have the boss fight, of course, to deal with. Alright, so here's the final. If I can get up there. <laughs> Come on. That was the concept part. Just gotta beat the boss. Wow, that was close. Yeah, you gotta watch out for those guys. They uh, do some weird heat wave attack. All right, first boss. Let's do this. Does that move eight times? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.
Yeah, yo. Got the trophy. That's how you know damage in this game. <laughs> Jeez. I'm gonna skip this cutscene and stop here for now, and I'll pick up in the next episode with episode two. So I just need to pause and exit here. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Yeah, that little icon down there in the lower right corner is the autosave. Basically, you just go to continue to keep going with the game. Let me just turn this down. Come on. So anyway, viewers, what did you think of that episode? Obviously, if you like it, maybe feel free to leave a like, comment, or subscribe if you want to see uh, more videos like this and uh, the rest of this uh, series I'm playing. So yeah, this is the first note. I'm not going to spend any, too much time with reading it right now because I'll do like a episode later on in the series once I unlock everything. Just wanted to give all of you the first glimpse here of this stuff. There's the first concept art. Got seven more to go now. And let's see the biography. Yeah, right there. Bio number one, the character. That's the main character here in the game, Mark West. So he's trying to find answers of what happened or why his father was killed, and also trying to take down this organization of the dragonflies. So yeah, we'll find out more about the story as I go on here, of course. So anyway, I was successful. I was able to unlock the first six uh, achievements like I wanted, so that's always good. All right, viewers, that pretty much does it for this episode. Obviously, you can look at any cutscenes you want in the game as you unlock them, too, if you want to see them again. And there's also a boss rush. I'll cover that, maybe. Another time, it's pretty hard, though. Then, uh, obviously, if you missed anything yourself in the game, you can always go to level select and go back to the first level or any of the other levels as you unlock them, of course. So, anyway, that's pretty much it. So, I'll see all of you next time. Have a great day. Oh, <clears throat> anyway, yeah, have a great day, and I'll um, see all of you next time. Bye.